Jonathan, 600 UK are very well known in this country for the supply of machines like we've got behind us, your Colchester and your Harrison machines. But what people may not know is actually how popular your chucks are and how many of them you sell per year. And, and that's a, a point of focus for this morning, really. So tell us about the range of, of work holding and chucks that you do. Well, Pratt Bernard has been going for about 100 years, so it's been going for a long, long time through from the Halifax site over back to the Hemmerwijk site now. Uh, and we do a full range of, of, of standard three-jaw chucks, four-jaw uh, scroll and, in, and independent chucks. Uh, as well as up to the big special chucks that we can manufacture on site. And this here is an example, we've got three jaw chucks here and you mentioned that you do a standard chuck and a yep. super precision chuck. Yep. What, what's, what's the differences between the two? Well you have here, you have the, the standard accuracy chuck um, which is a, a scroll, three jaw scroll chuck, self-centering. Um, it's manufactured from SG iron uh, as most of our chucks up to 400 millimetres are. Uh, and it's manufactured with a, with a flat scroll internally. So the accuracy of the standard accuracy is still, still good, still to international standards, um, but the longevity isn't, uh, isn't there all the time. Uh, once you then move on to, from your standard accuracy onto your super precision, uh, which is manufactured again out of SG iron, and it's manufactured with a scroll a beveled scroll. So that's the fundamental difference? That's the fundamental difference in the two chucks, uh, which the scroll, the beveled scroll, uh, gives you longevity in the accuracy of the chuck. Okay, now we look at the machine that we've got behind us here, this yeah. has got a super yeah. precision chuck. It does, yes. Would you supply, when you supply a new machine tool, would yeah. you always put a super precision on rather than a standard? Yeah, with all our, our new machines that we do supply, we will supply a super precision chuck uh, as standard. Uh, a lot with the, with the standard machines that we supply, we will also supply a four-jaw chuck as well, a uh, four-jaw independent chuck. Now what, what, what people might think is a, a, a ch every machine, every lathe needs a chuck, so yeah. you sell hundreds of these a yes. year, but what does make your chucks better or different to some others that might be available on the market, because that's the burning question. I mean we, we have a lot of stock of the product, we have a, a good reputation for, for a number of years where, where the, the quality and the precision of the chucks is, is maintained regularly. Um, we have, uh, like I say, a good reputation in the market, we've been around for a long time. We have a lot of competition out there and there's not a lot of difference between the, the, the quality and the accuracy of those chucks as well. But, but we are a UK based machine to manufacturers which supply UK manufactured chucks. And if you were watching this, you, wouldn't, you, you don't have to sit there thinking, well actually I haven't got a Colchester machine or a Harrison machine, I've got another, so I can't buy their chuck, that's not right is it? No, all our, all our standard chucks are manufactured with a recess mount. So we supply adapters to mount onto the recess that can go on any A-type, D-type spindle nose that, that there is out in the market. So it doesn't have to be a Colchester or Harrison lathe for us to fit our chucks. We can fit it on any, any variation of machine. And that's the same applies to a new machine, a used machine? Exactly. It exactly. doesn't matter, does it? No, it's, it's, there's no difference. We can still may, uh, mount it onto any particular machine that we, we have out there. Now these, ones, these chucks we've got here are all kind of an 8-inch chuck size by the way. Yes. Limit. What, what is the maximum diameter you'd go to on a three jaw and what's the smallest? Well, we, we go down to 170 millimetres uh, on the, the smallest chuck that we do uh, on a three jaw and we go up to anything up to 1.2 metres. Uh, we can manufacture in house. We have the facility to be able to, to turn the body at 1.2 metres. Anything again above that, we can still look at manufacturing it, but there will maybe a little bit of external work that's required. Um, and so we, we can manufacture from that size of, of 170 millimetres all the way up to 1.2 metres. So whatever the application really, you can satisfy it here at 600 UK? Yes, I mean we have a, a big standard range of, of three jaw chucks that go from the 170 up to the, the four or 500 millimetres as standard products. Anything above that, we can design, manufacture, bigger bore size, bigger jaws, whatever requirements you need. Maybe you want to go for uh, two piece jaws rather than single piece jaws. We've got the facility because we design and manufacture in house that we can make it basically as long as it's physically possible for us to do it uh, and, and within the realms of what we what the chuck can do we can manufacture it and when you buy one of these what do they come with Jonathan when it comes to the jaws and the accessories yeah with the standard chucks we we supply obviously a key with the with the uh, chuck uh, the the standard and super precision chucks come with inside and outside jaws so it's dependent on how you grip your, your component 
uh, that's standard that they come with inside and outside jaws. On the, the set right chucks we also they come as two piece jaws which, which basically is a combination of inside and outside jaws. Okay, tell me about the set right and the grip true. Right, the set right and the grip true chucks uh, are based around the superposition chuck with a bevel scroll to give us longevity of the accuracy. But on the set right chuck we have uh, an array of, of adjusting the uh, chuck to the spindle to again give us even increased accuracy on the, on the component. Um, the set right is adjusted uh, with some scrub screws around the sides so you, you put the chuck on and then you adjust it to, to the spindle with a, clocking up the body of the, of the chuck. That is used mainly in lathe applications, turning applications. Why are you going to need that to, to, to give you more? To give you a little bit more accuracy with regards to the, the, the spindle on the machine, if you need that extra accuracy on the, on the component that you're machining. Uh, so that is used uh, mainly on the, uh, on the lathe application with the turning. The grip true is, a, is again is the same as a superposition chuck in the, with the bevel scroll. scroll. Um, but we, are, we have a different type of adjustment. Which, which gives you more accuracy. Now that is mainly used in uh, grinding applications. So it wouldn't necessarily be used on a, on a lathe. You can use it on a lathe because it will still give you the same kind of accuracy. But you can use it more on, in uh, grinding applications and it's adjusted and it gives you finer, finer adjustments. So you would more than likely with the grip through, you would put the component in and you would clock the component up rather than just the chuck. Sounds like you you cover all bases when it comes to chucks. We try as best, yes. Great insight, thanks for No problem.